Hello and welcome to Victoria Planet. My name's John Finch. It's one of those days. It's drab, it's boring, the light is all flat. I want to go out and take some photographs, but if I come back and develop them, they're just going to be hard to print. They're not going to have that something that I like my photographs to have. Well, today I'm going to show you how to get over that problem. So let's go out and have a look. It's a drab and cold, windy Scottish day in January. The lighting is flat. Last time I was here, it was summer. It was so hot, I had to take my jacket off. When I measured these highlights and shadows back in summer, we had five stops difference in the light. Let's see what I've got today. A quarter of a second at 2.8 and a thirtieth of a second at two eight. Well, that's three stops. Quarter to an eighth, eighth to 15, 15 to 30. That's only three stops. When we measured it in summer, we got five stops and that was perfect for our film because films have a five stop latitude from good detailed shadows to good detailed highlights. But here with only three stops, my image is going to be flat and my negative hard to print. So how can I improve that? Well, we call it N plus development. N is normal development and N plus means we're going to add development. And the reason we add development is to lift the highlights. Let me explain in the darkroom. To start with, I'll give you a bit of background on what N plus development is. Remember that I like to place my shadows in zone three. So I take a meter reading of the shadows. That gives me a reading of them in zone five and then I close down my camera two stops and I place my shadows in the right area, the right zone. My highlights should land around zone eight. Now they don't always land there, do they? Today, they're landing around zone six. Remember, I had a three stop difference between my shadows and my highlights. Three stops was one, two, three, zone six. So when I place my shadows in zone three, my highlights are only going to be in zone six. Film has a latitude of around five stops and I like that latitude. It gives me good contrast, good punchy negatives that I can make really good prints from. So at the moment, if I take the photograph and develop normally, I will only get highlights in zone six. I'll have very flat negatives and they'll be hard to print. So somehow I want to push these highlights up. How do I do that? N plus development means that I develop for longer, pushing up my highlights. You have to calculate the exact times to get your highlights pushed up, but I've got a really good rule of thumb, which will keep you straight. It's the 30% rule. Each time, I want to move my highlights up one zone. In this case, from zone six to zone seven, I add 30% to my development time. I want to push it up another because zone seven's not enough. I want it to go up to zone eight. So I'm gonna push them up higher. To get to there, I add another 30%. Now these are ad additive 30%. So we add 30% here to the original development time and then from the new time we add another 30% of the new time not another 30% of the old time so that's how you put it up there now I'm going to develop that film right now and I'll also develop some of them with ordinary development so we can see the difference in contrast in the negatives and then I'll print one for you to have a look at so here are the negatives you can see the lower contrast negatives along the bottom are normally developed for 21 minutes using exactly the same technique as last week. And these are the N plus two developed negatives. Now, through experimentation, I found that you need to increase the concentration of the developer slightly and develop them for the 30% plus 30% for N plus two. So to increase the concentration of the developer, and this is one of the advantages of the PyroCat developer, is that I used a dilution of three plus two plus 500. 
so slightly more pyrocatechin. I also developed the 35 minutes and I agitated for the first two minutes, not one but two for N plus development and I agitated again at 12 and again at 24 and then I finished development at 35. And those 12 and 24 minute agitations were for 30 seconds. So now you have a method to get N plus development using minimal agitation or semi-stand development as we know it in Europe. So I've made two prints. This one is the normal development time and the one underneath it is N plus two. I've printed them out and I've both used the same grade for both. And I just want to show you the difference here. It's quite a lot. Now this is the normal development time and this is the N plus. And I hope you can see the difference in the video. Um, there, let's have a look. We can see that we have pushed up the highlights considerably on the left hand one. We've printed them both out at the same grade. Let me just show you the details here. So there's the detail of the normal development. Oh, it's quite detailed, it's sharp. And the Pyrocat has done a good job with the micro contrast. But let's have a look at this N plus two. And look at that wood. I think you can see that's considerably more detailed. It's really brought out the grain beautifully in the wood. And the window there is nice and bright. There's detail in the paint and the seat. There's a chicken coming out there, or I think it was actually going in when I took that shot. Let's have a look at the other one. And there's not, it just hasn't got the detail in the wood. There seems to be just a lovely contrast that I would have had if the light had been better anyway, but it's just, it's just nicer by giving it plus development. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and know now that you have a strategy for when you go out and the light is flat and drab and you can do something about it. I'm very pleased with this result. It shows that with minimal agitation or semi-stand development, you can increase the contrast of the negative and bring those highlights back up into the zones where they belong. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much for watching guys and I will see you later in the week.